Hi everyone. I've had a lot of requests for a design space file for these earbud holders. And this video will show you how to assemble it. So these are the pieces that are included in the cut file. You have the back and front of the little holder. And I'm using heavy fusible interfacing on mine. Um, I put this cut in the file and I put a note saying that if you're using heavy interfacing, to cut two, one for each side. If you're using cardstock, you can just cut one or cardstock or poster board or something like that. Um, we do this just to stiffen it up a little because it is super pliable. So that just gives it a little more oomph. <laughs> um, this one I sewed very quickly just to try out my cut. I found this area a little small so on the file that I'm sharing I've made it a little longer so that you have more room for wrapping your earbuds. So let's go ahead and get this started. I was going to say that if you decide to use something as heavy as poster board I would maybe make it a little smaller this insert so that um, you're not sewing through poster board. Cardstock you'd probably be fine, but poster board you might not want to sew through. There we go. That one's installed. I keep this little cellophane bag with all my scraps of um, fusible interfacing because you never know when you're going to want to do a project like this and who wants to cut up a yard of interfacing to get a two inch square. So we'll just make sure this is adhered. That looks good. Okay, turn that off. And I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. I'm going to line it all up. And I'm going to sew around all the edges and down also onto the tie as I did on this one, all the way around, including on the, the fold-up tie. I'm going to do that. We'll install our snap and we'll be done. And my sewing is done all the way around. I also went right across here where this fold-up is so that we don't have any openings. So now all we have left to do is install our snap. So I'm going to put mine around here. That should do it. I'm using a bright yellow snap and you'll have to push it through because this is thick or thicker than fabric. And we'll choose the male. It doesn't matter if you do the male or the female first. That's completely up to you. Put that in here. Give it a squeeze. That looks good. And then you can press down or measure to decide where you're going to put the other side of your snap. This time we'll put the flat side on the back. Of 
course. Push it through, make sure the spike is all the way through. There we go. And our snap is attached. Make sure it works. Beautiful. Very fun. I know a lot of you were looking forward to getting this little file. I hope you'll enjoy it and I hope you'll make some. Please post pictures if you do. Please like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you for watching.